Welcome back, everybody. We are working our way towards the church to see if we can find some schematics. So uh, I was out and about last night near the base, just out in front of the base, wrenching some cars because we did find a wrench and some loot in, uh, I believe it was the last episode. And I got ganked by some ferals, some feral zombies, and they killed me. So we are now up to, <clears throat> excuse me, five deaths. Got just a tiny bit. Oh, looks like I just now. Uh, looks like I just now worked off the uh, XP debt from the near death near death trauma. So we're back on track for that. We've just been killing zombies, you know, as we've been going along here. <clears throat> so yeah, we're working our way towards the church, and we're going to see if we can find ourselves some schematics. I would really like to get a schematic for a bicycle and or, you know, mini bike or something like that. I have a feeling like I am going the wrong way. That is really weird. Because I put a bookmark here. And that bookmark shows church. But there's no church here. Um, but I was also guesstimating where the church was. But man, I didn't think I'd be that far off. Goodness gracious, where the hell is that thing at? Is it back up this way? Uh, that's really weird. All right, let's take out a little girl so I'll be here. I stopped trying to, uh, to cripple their legs because it just wasn't proccing. Uh, not not to mention the fact that I don't even have that mod on the pistol now. I just got the silencer on it. Oh, oh, I took another... I had another point, too, so I took that in um, agility. I'm really confused as to where that church was, though. Did I really, like, miss it by that much? We were we were on the um, we we're on the apartment building. I wonder if I was I must have been facing the wrong direction. I bet you that's what the deal was. Here, so let's um, how do we? Oh, church here. Let's remove that waypoint. I bet you that's what it was. I was probably just facing the wrong direction. Whoa, easy money! You scare me, man. Every time you scare the hell out of me. All right, let's uh, show easy money what for here. <laughs> I didn't even hit easy money. Easy? What the hell, dude? All right. There we go. Get our spear back. Yeah, I, I must have been facing the wrong direction. That's the only um, explanation for it. This is different. They changed the, the funeral home. Here's a bunny rabbit. Uh, I'll take both of those things. There's the church. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. I was just facing the wrong wrong direction. All right. Let's... um. Pop you in the noggin. Whoa, there's a pig right there. A pig and another easy. Alright. Off with your head. Where's easy? Come here, buddy. Look at that shot. It's a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so, um... Should we try and kill Piggly Wiggly there? Probably get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, let's leave Piggly alone. Okay, so yeah, the church is over here. And, uh, what we're gonna do... Is this the church I th 
think it is. I think this is the right one. There should be like a big old basement in here with um, a bunch of bookcases and a bunch of, excuse me, a bunch of zombies too. I don't think I want that stuff. I mean, I've got plenty of uh, antibiotics, so I don't really need uh, that stuff to make them, you know? Uh, this, I don't think this is the right church. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, this is the right church. Okay. So, uh, I've been in the basement in this church. I don't know if I've actually been in the church part of the church before. So let's, act, let's scope this out. Let's see what's in here. Oh, uh, I was going to save this too. I found art of mining volume four in a trash bag off camera. Um, do, 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 do. okay. So now see how the book is open here. What that means is that I've already learned this. So if you see an open book, it means you've already read it. Um, and we can confirm that because if I go to black strap, uh, strap coffee, you can see that this is white, <clears throat> meaning that I can make this stuff. So if you read it after you've learned it, I guess all you get for it is just X, more XP, I'm thinking. Now we could sell this thing for 100 coin though too. So let's just do something. Let's go ahead and use it and see how much XP we get compared to how much money we could get if we just sold it. Uh, the other option too is we could scrap it. Uh, how much paper would we get if we scrapped it? Only three paper. That's not hardly worth crap. We got 50 XP instead for reading it. Wait, what? Did I scrap that or read it? I can't remember now. I think I read it. So we got 50 XP. Hmm. 50 XP versus 100 coin. I'm kind of thinking maybe the next time that happens, we should probably just sell it. It's definitely not worth scrapping if three papers all we get from it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking with that. All right, let's break into here. I've, I've, like I said, I don't think I've ever been inside of this church. I've been in the basement of this church, but I don't think I've been in the church part itself. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to be in here. <clears throat> Obviously, we can expect a bunch of Zeeks in here. Like, yowzers. All right, what do we got going on here? We got Biker Z and an Edgar and an Olgeard. I'm just trying to see if there are any bookcases in here. There's a lot of zombies in here. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, um, what if we wake this guy up? Can't, <laughs> I can't get a sneak shot off on him because this damn thing's in the way. All right. Whoa, that woke a bunch of Zeeks up. Big mama. This guy's gonna bust that right on open. <laughs> Jeez, that didn't take long. That did not take long. All right, well, Hawaii Five O is probably gonna take a million bullets to kill because he's so tough. We got uh, easy money over there too. Let's give uh, Big Mom a little bit of a shotgun blast there. Hmm. Okay, well... All right, well, that took care of Big Mama. Uh, we that you know we took that next point in agility, which gives us. Uh, I think I think we're at 230 or 240 percent headshot damage now. Okay, so that's not too bad. Oh, Easy came out too, didn't he? Where is he at? He's right there. Okay. Let's conserve some ammo. 
That's the second time I've missed easy. Damn it. Okay. We'll, we'll crossbow him. Okay, wait for that head to swing around. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, now, let's go back in here again. Take a look-see. He's the guy I'm, like, really concerned about. Let's turn this off. Thing is, though, is... Are there any bookcases even in here, in this upper area? <clears throat> because if there isn't, this might not be worth... This might not be worth the hassle. Let's go take a peek up here and see what's going on. All right, so that leads up to that little balcony area. Is there anything up here? Besides barbed wire. Um, all right, let's see. Let's break this. Should probably put the junk turret down behind us. Give us early warning. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn it. I thought that would be a bookcase, but it's not. There's an attic here, though. <clears throat> I'll bet you that leads to something good. So I'm not seeing anything else up here. So let's go up into this little uh, attic, or maybe this goes up into the steeple or something. I don't know. And see if we can find something good up there. We just need to make sure that guy stays sleepy, sleepy. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything up here. We're going to run into buzzards up here. You know, it's interesting. <clears throat> this is actually a really cool POI. But it's interesting to me that I've actually never... There's buzzards. I've actually never been in it other than in the basement part itself. So there's obviously going to have to be... There's going to have to be something good over there. Otherwise, we, they wouldn't have this little setup right here. Um, all right, so for buzzards, what are the chances of us being able to kill those bastards with like a sneak shot without the other one aggroing? All right, well, <laughs> that wasn't pretty, but it got the job done. We probably better pop one of these. Big old medikit there, man. All right, now, the next order of business is to get across here without falling down there and waking up our biker buddy. Hopefully this board doesn't break. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little precarious. Okay, come on. There's got to be something good over here after all that effort. An ammo pile with 12 shoddy shells. I mean, you know, it's better than a kick in the nuts, but I'm kind of expecting something. Okay, okay, hold on. Don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. We've got more stuff here. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and lay some frames down here. Let's 
Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the jackpot. All right. Cool. Check this stuff out. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Medical supplies. What do we get? Some vitamins. Weapons bag. Oh, very nice. Upgrade to our shotgun. More bullets. A junk turret. Machine gun. Okay. All that stuff we'll take apart except for the shoddy. This is now our new shotgun. Um, we don't have any mods on our shoddy either. Excellent. Okay, uh, that's a locked chest. Let's bust open the... Whoops. Let's bust open the um, shotgun messiah chest here. Oh, I, I found a, a treasure map too in, a, in some loot off camera. All right, what do we got? Junk turret parts, baseball pat part, b b bat parts, and two Molotov cocktails. All right. All right. Not the best loot in the world, but not the worst either. Don't care about that. What do we got here? Don't care about that either. Okay, so we have three lockpicks on us. <laughs> What's the hit points on this? Oh, 10,000. Good Lord almighty. We are in church, so, you know. <laughs> this thing's like way the hell up here too, isn't it? Uh, all right. Well, let's see what happens with the lockpits. Lockpicks. I thought about um actually specking into at least lockpick, you know, level 1. Because then we could make the lockpicks A and B, we'd have a slightly better chance of being successful at picking locks. See, I don't, I don't get that. You, it gets all the way to the end, and then it breaks the lockpick. And then it, 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 and then it doesn't leave off where it left off. You know. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you back here in about 10 million years after I break this bastard open. Here we go. All right. What do we got? Wow, look at that, guys. That is some nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Okay, so we got a level 4 crossbow. We've got uh, green... Uh, level 4 iron boots and iron chest armor. We ha already have all of those things, but these are all nice upgrades to what we have. Why am I doing this one at a time? Let's pull those in. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to... Um, bup, 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 bup. Let's get that thing going again. Let's pull this off. And we will remove the customized fittings from that. Now let's grab this armor and modify, and we'll put those on. And that gives us better mobility. Okay, and then uh, we'll wear this. Let's let's repair this too while we're at it. We might as well just repair this stuff and get it all repaired up and good to go. Um, did that just put that back on me? I think it did. Yes, it did. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next, we want to. See, we can sell this one for three twenty nine too, so that's going to be nice. Let's take the mod off of here. And we will put them on here, modify. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, let's repair these. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to repair those. Those are in pretty good shape. Let's just, let's just use them as is. Uh, the crossbow, we might as well repair that, though. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to take the scope off of here. And we're going to put it onto the green crossbow. And let's see, do we have anything else? I don't think the... What if the cripple mod works on a crossbow? Not really sure. Not really sure about that. So, okay, we could... What else did we get? We got the... Uh, well, we already have Grave Digger. So we're just going to probably sell that. Um, what do we get if we scrap this? 
112 scrap iron versus selling for 43 coin. I, hmm. I would think that's going to be more valuable to us because we could turn this like into ammo for the junk dart, for example, um, or smelt it in the forge and whatnot. Okay, so let's uh, melt that down. We already have a weighted head mod, but you know what? We could actually put that on here too. And uh, it increases its melee damage in case we get into a situation where we need to use our axe uh, for that purpose. So yeah, that was awesome. So these guys are fully repaired. Well, almost completely fully repaired armors. Completely fully. Um, and those two we're going to probably sell. Either that or we'll keep them as a backup set of armor. <clears throat> so, okay, so we got another AK-2. That we're probably just going to scrap and get the parts off of. And then we got silver nuggets. 300 coin for that. Not a bad haul, you guys. Not a bad haul at all. Not a bad haul at all. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to... Um, I still want to get into the basement of this place. But we are now, like, really massively over-encumbered as usual. So what we're going to end up doing is I think I'm going to make a chest... And I'm going to, you know, stash a bunch of stuff in the chest before we go into the basement of this place. So let's head on back down this way. Is our biker buddy still down there? I don't see any Zeeks down there right at the moment. Hmm. Okay, let's go back up through here. You know, unless they were, like, out of render distance or something. Yeah, no, they're still there. I, I probably couldn't see them because, um, you know, this little platform thingamadoodle was covering him up. I wonder if there's stuff up here. Hmm, not that I can tell uh, from here. Was that door open before? Not sure. Okay, gotta be quiet. Gotta be really quiet now. Let's go back up. Let's go back down this way. Yeah, there's no way, guys, that we're gonna be able to hit the basement in this episode, so we're probably just gonna have to continue in uh, the next episode. I am curious, though, where this room goes. Ooh, yowzers. Yeah, let's not go that way. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mind fighting those two, but what I what I don't want to do is I don't want to um I don't wake him up. That Hawaii Five O, that guy is just absolutely frightening as all get out on nightmare speed, insane difficulty. So I just don't want to tangle with him if I don't have to. All right, so what we're gonna do? As we're going to end this episode, and uh, I'm going to make myself a chest and drop off our fat loots in that chest, and then we're going to head into the basement in the next episode. And down in that basement, we're going to find a bunch of uh, bookcases. I wonder if there's any bookcases back in this little Sunday school room. <laughs> oh, man, this is risky. There's probably some fat loots in that coffin, too. And I wonder if there's any, like, hidden secrets underneath the, you know, the, the, the stage area up there. Ah, okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and do what I said I was going to do. So, um... We'll end this episode, and we'll probably just pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Oh, shit, that pig scared me. Um, uh, share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help the channel, and I do greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.